What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing my first ever video um, by Libby Loves Funko Pops. So today, um, as I just said, is my first ever video. So I'll be showing you my Funko Pop collection, as you may know by the title. Um, just before I get started, some of these are mine and some of these are mine and my sister's. So I'll be telling you them ones. We have a mix of Walking Dead, Suicide Squad and Five Nights at Freddy's downstairs also and we have a bit of a family collection which is, there's about 30 to 35 of them but i won't be showing you them in the video today i'll be doing a separate video for that so let's get started so my let me just my first pop head i will show is mine and my sister's and this is diablo from suicide squad and this is number um this is number 103 um just looking for it at the back here and this is quite a big collection um we do not have all of it yet but we have about half of it um so this is an amazing pop head and it's one of our favorite video um characters from suicide squad so that is my first pop head and that's my sister's as well called macy shout out to her um, next one, I might just do all the Suicide Squad ones first. This is Katana, and this is number 100, um, from Suicide Squad as well. And as I said, um, still big collection, same collection. And she is amazing, she is. Um, Katana, good old Katana. Um, this is our favourite pop head out of the Suicide Squad collections. It is Enchantress. 110 so this is amazing it's a dc comics legends of collectors exclusive and this one was really hard to find oh sorry the lights kind of reflecting on it on the box that um uh suicide squad won 110 she's amazing enchantress same collection at the back so as I said, that is our favourite one. Next one um, is one of our also favourite ones. It's the Joker Tuxedo Hot Topic Exclusive. And this is one 109. And she does also have... Well, we also have another Joker, but not in Tuxedo. Same collection. Um, so that is the Joker Hot Topic Exclusive. So that's that one. Um, I think we're getting to the end of this collection almost now. Um, ah, this one is Deadshot. When we brought this in Florida, um, he was in a comic shop for five dollars, I think it was, because he didn't come in a box and he was damaged. As you might see here, he had some paint on it and he had some paint on the head, which you might just about see, but we kind of got that off a bit, but it will not come off on his legs there. But that is dead, dead shot unmasked. But we don't know what number he is. Actually, let me just check what number he is. Um, he's number ninety-eight, but he doesn't have a box, as we say. So, but he's still a part of our Funko Pop collection, so he can just sit down there. Next, we've got six more. Um, we have Killer Croc hooded. Um, oh, this light is reflecting on it terribly. And this is number 150, Killer Croc Hooded. Um, he is an amazing character. And same collection at the back there. Um, he is wicked, he is. He might be my second favourite one. Next we have, as I was saying, um, Harley Quinn. But one of you, big Funko Pop collectors, if you're watching this, might realise something. I'll give you 10 seconds to see if you can realise it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Have you guessed it? If you have, go put it down in that comment section below. But... Here, where it says pop, if you look at any other ones, it says heroes on it. And on the Five Nights at Freddy's ones, it says games. Walking Dead ones, it says television. But this, when we ordered this off eBay, um, because we wanted it, it came fake. And it's actually fake. And 
even though it looks all the same in that, like the boxing, it's just this bit here. It doesn't say heroes. But it is 97, number 97, if you had the real one, that is. But it's still uh, a normal, it's still a Funko Pop, I guess, but just a fake one. And we are, and we have ordered um, the real one. We've made sure it's real this time. Um, next we have another Killer Croc. Is, a hun is number 102. Um, and some of you may be thinking like, oh, well, you've got two Killer Crocs. But no, we haven't. The, the other one was hooded and he had his hood up. But this one, he hasn't got his hood up. Look, let me show you. The, the One's got his hood up and one hasn't. So, um, same collection, obviously. Um, that collection, number 102. Um, we've only got three more left now. One of my all-time favourites. Captain Boomerang. He is amazing. I love the scene when he like gets his little fluffy unicorn and I actually have a bigger version of it. It's so fluffy I'm gonna die. So that's that and it's a big version of it. Um he's number 101 and same collection at the back. So that's that. Um also, if you're new to this channel, which most of you will be because it's my first ever video, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, just help me out. Um, next we have Deadshot with his mask and he is number uh, 106. Uh, I'm trying to get like a good reflection. Not, uh, yeah, there. Um, he's number 106. Um, same collection at the back. So that's that one. Um, last but not least, we have the Joker, and this is my pro possibly fifth favourite one. Um, because he hasn't got his coat on, and he's got like all the tattoos, and it's when he's in the asylum thing, whatever it is. Um, and here's number ninety six, and same collection. Um, so that was all of our Suicide Squad ones. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Don't worry, don't go, don't go, whatever you do. We've still got, a, we've still got our walking deck. That was possibly the smallest collection of ones that we have, possibly. No, actually the Five Nights at Freddy's ones are, but anyway, let's move on to the Five Nights at Freddy's ones. So first up we have um, Foxy the Pirate number 109 and we have the whole collection of this of all the funk of all the five nights at freddy's one and that's the collection and we have all of them and i think we might have a double of one uh, um this up to the pirate is my sister's favorite one so yep so moving on we have possibly my favorite one and that is Spring, Spring Trap, and here's 110, and I think this was just so awesome, because, like, of how you can tell, it was a robot thing, mechanic, and, like, all the, I'm trying to get good lighting, and it's got, like, all the, like, detours, and, like, how you can tell, like, it's all ruined and that, so that's that one, that's Spring Trap. And next we have Nightmare Freddy. Here's 111. Right, sorry, I'm trying to get a good light in. Oh, there. Uh, here's 111. Uh, Freddy Nightmare. Nightmare Freddy, even. Um, 111, if I haven't already said that. Okay, so next we have the normal Chica. Um, 108. So that's Chica. Um, she's pretty cool. Like I love her little bib saying "Let's eat." Like it reminds me because of the game. Like let's eat humans. Don't think I'm crazy, but it just reminds me of that. Next we have good old plain bunny. Um, there and here's 107, and he's pretty cool because bunny's actually possibly my favourite character. No, my second favourite character from Five Nights at Freddy's. First is Bloom Boy, 
because I love Balloon Boy. I'm saving best till last. So next we have Freddy, um, normal Freddy, and here's 106. He's pretty cool. Um, next, this is my second favourite one, possibly, or my fourth or something, and it's Shadow Freddy. Oh, I'm trying to get a good light in. Um, Shadow Freddy, and he's 126, and he is amazing because I love like his eyes, like because it's like bunny. It it's like it's like a bunny, but it's a mix of basically Freddy and Bunny with the eyes. And then last but not least is my favourite one out of the puppets, and it is Funtime Foxy because I just feel like. It's just amazing because of the teeth and everything. And this is a Flucked exclusive. And this is 129. And this took us ages to find. Um, so I don't actually remember where we got this from. I can't remember. It might come to me later. This is an amazing one. I love this one. So moving on to the Walking Dead ones now. Which is the biggest collection we have actually um i haven't got all of them because walking dead fans you may know um there's just such a big collection of funko pops to do with walking dead and all of these do have boxes but i've took them out boxes i'll actually show you the display of them so let me just show you the display sorry i'm just putting these ones back at the same time so I will show you the display of them actually. So, um, you can see me. That is my display. That's my first shelf. I will show you these in more detail. Let me just do a quick. And another shelf. So, that is them. So, I was showing you them in more detail. You probably would have saw them, like the boxes. I've just used them as stands. So, first one is Merle um, Dixon. Before he died, and, but he's got his hands up. And I actually don't know what number he is. So, I might not be able to tell you all of the numbers for these. Because, like, they're in the boxes. Like, I can't see his boxes. But that's Mel Dixon. Um, next we have Michonne in the sheriff's costume um, with her little gun there. When they're in, um, I think it was Alexandria. Yeah, when they're in Exal... What can I say? Exal... Exal... I can't even say it. But that is Michonne in the sheriff's outfit in Exalexandria. Oh, I can't even say it. Um with her little gun in her hand here so next we have my second favorite character abraham and this is before he died and many of you who know me if you do know me i call him baby ham so in any videos to come if you ever hear me accidentally say baby ham i mean abraham and here he has his army pants on and a grey sweatshirt thing tank top and then he has his gun so he's an amazing one um next up we have gabriel um a lot of you who don't watch walking dead are probably thinking who are all these characters like well, who's he who's he who's she but walking dead fans you know who i'm on about this is Gabriel, um, when they're in Exal Ex oh, oh, I can't even say it, whatever, I'm not even going to bother now. This is close-up of him. He's got his shotgun. So next is one of my favourites. I think it's like my 7th or 8th favourite. It's Glenn. Um, I'm, just, I'm just trying to look at what boxes there are. Um, to see what Glenn it is, but I can't find him. Anyway, um, it's Glenn with his gun at the prisons before they leave the prison, before they get invaded um, by walkers, a.k.a. zombies. Um, so that's him. 
Um, next we have Jesus doing his little well-known stance that every Walking Dead fan knows. He's got his long beardy thing and his long hair. He's got his little duffel hat and his outfit. And he is number 389. I only know that because his box is like right in front of me. So that's him. Um, so moving on to my next, well, shelf thing. So next is, um, what's his name? What have I forgot his name? Carl Grimes. Um, when they've got to go through like that herd of zombies in Exali Jan. Alexandria, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, what? Alexandria. I think that might have been right. When the boy and the mum get eaten by zombies. So that's him. That's Carl. So next we have Negan with Lucille swinging his bat. And he is number 390. Um, he's cool. He's got his beard and his moustache oh, um, and his leather jacket so that's him um, next we have um, I was about to say Nan because she looks like my Nan what's her name? why have I forgot her name? Carol, that's it jeez I'm forgetting these names um, and she, this is when she says, look at the flowers, just look at the flowers. And she is going to shoot that girl person. I forgot her name. Um, so that's Carol. Next we have Rick. Um, I actually don't know when this is. See, when I first got this pop head for my birthday, going back, I thought at first, comment down below who you think this looks like if you didn't know it was Rick. I thought it looked like Eugene a little bit, um, but I know there's a, quite a few different Ricks, but this is one of them, and I think this is my only Rick that I've got. Here it is. I'm, I'm hoping to get the Sheriff one for my birthday or something. Right, so next is the Governor, as me and my sister like to call him, the Govy. Um, so this is when he's got his eye patch, whatever it's called, and his knife. And I don't know what number this one is. Oh, it's number 66. Because this was like season 4, I think it was. Yeah, season 4 and 5 or 3 and 4 or something. Um, so that's the governor. Next we have a different series of Carl, which is like season 3. I think it might have been. It probably was even before that. Maybe season 2 or something. Um, when they was... Um, after he got shot... See, it's got a little mark here, but I don't know if that's meant to be there. I am actually going to check on the box because he has got a mark. No, that's not meant. That's not meant to be there. So that was just a thing, and I don't know if that's a stain or not. But this is when they're in the barn house after he got shot, and he's just recovering because he's got the little keys for the shed. So that's him. Next is my. Sixth favourite one, it's Tyrese. It's Hot Topic exclusive because it's when he's got bit by the walker. As you may see there, focus, focus. There, and then he's got the rock in his hand trying to like put pressure on it. Um, sadly, Tyrese died. Um, sadly, and this is 310. And as I said, this is my sixth favourite pop head, Hot Topic exclusive. Um, next we have Poss and this is my favourite one by far possibly. Um, it is Teddy Bear Girl. And anyone who's watching this from school knows for the Halloween disco I dressed up as her and I just think she's amazing because look at that. Like she's got her little teddy bear and her dressing gown and she was like quite early on she was the first walker that rick found out and shot and she's got like her little slippers and her teddy bear and her mouth details is it and everything and her hair and when i first opened this like out of the box um to make my display she didn't stand up and then i was quite worried like why is she not standing up 
like um but then when i was looking in the box she come with this stamp so it's all okay because she just stands up now so next we have my um i think she's my fourth or fifth favorite one and um, we have penny um the governor's daughter yeah is it the governor's daughter i can't even remember yeah it is it is um so that's penny she's got her little bow there and her scratch and her bite up there and she's just an amazing character she's actually i think she's a four or five inch pop um i actually can't remember i think she might be a four inch one yeah um she's got and if you can see she's got like a chain there that she broke free from uh focus i don't think it's gonna focus anytime soon so that's penny next we have my second or third favorite one uh no actually we don't this is my fourth favorite one it's dwight or Dwayne, whatever you want to call him when he's had the iron on his face by negan and he's got his gun and he's got daryl dixon's leather wing jacket which i'm so jealous about and he's holding up his shotgun and I don't know what, he's number 544, so he's quite later on in the series. Um, so that's him. Oh, he's focusing quite good now. That's him. And next we have my second or third favourite one. It's the Bicycle Girl, and she is amazing. I don't know what number she is. I think she's number... Um, sorry... She's number 16 because I know she's like really early on in the series because he sees her in the park, Rick does, like crawling along the grass and she has no like, like this is, must be her spine and like she just like kind of crawls along the floor like that, like just like scutters along or something. But the detail in her face and the colour, this camera doesn't do her justice, she ne you need to know her like real colour. Like, it's just an amazing pop head. And her mouth and her eyes and everything. It's amazing, that is. Next we have um, Rosita uh, wearing her cap. And anyone who goes to the school also knows, for World Book Day 2017, I dressed up as her. She's got her big fancy earrings and everything. And her cap and her pigtails and everything. She's pretty cool. She's... Um, out of the actual series, she is my seventh favourite character. Um, she's number 387, because some of them I just can see the boxes, but she's pretty cool. Um, next we have Daryl Dixon with the, what's it called, the, the sniper or thing, whatever that missile bomb launcher is. And I don't know what, his number... 391 if you see me looking up there it's because the shelves are up there um he's number 391 and he's pretty cool as right literally i'm such a big fan of daryl dixon he's my celebrity crush Shh. don't tell no one um next we have herschel and this is my seventh favorite pop um and he's just amazing he is um and if you're still watching because this is quite a long video thumbs up um if you're enjoying it so he, this is when he's got no leg and he's on the crutches Ooh, sorry herschel and he's amazing you can see his pigtail at the back um so next we've got this is like this is number 14, Daryl Dixon, and that's when he's like just found out that Merle's been handcuffed to the building. Um, and he's amazing. This is like season one, and he's got like his little handkerchief thing at the back there. So that's him, and he's amazing. And he's like kind of like twist around a little bit, unlike the other ones. So next we have Morgan. Um, and he's um, an amazing character because I just love, like, he's number 308, but I just love this character because he's unique because a lot of characters from Walking Dead have, like, handguns or knives or something like that, but he doesn't really use a gun. He just uses his mighty stick, 
And at the back here, he has his rucksack. I keep on dropping these. So we have his rucksack here. So next we have this, last but not least, we have my favourite pop head ever. This is my favourite one. We have a pop right. Um, and it's Daryl Dixon on his chopper. And let me tell you a little story about this pop head. I, when we went to Florida in 2016, 10 of us went. It was my birthday there. And my mum made this amazing cake. It was um, a chocolate cake with like brown icing on it. But then she actually put this pop head on it. And she made it look like a road. So he was like riding down a road. Because at Walmart we tried to order a... A Walking Dead picture cake, but it was just too short notice. But my mum actually made this one, and this was amazing. It's got like, all the little details what a motorcycle would have. It's even got a little number play and reflector light. And Daryl Dixon just come off this, and then it looks like he's doing squats. <laughs> and he's got his um, what's it called crossbow at the back there. You might be able to see. And then he just sits right back on think yep he does there so he's my favorite pop head um so i hope you enjoyed today's video um videos will not normally be this long i didn't expect it to be this long actually um i hope you enjoyed please subscribe i need as many subscribers as i can um please thumbs up feel free to comment down any suggestions for videos that i could do um any challenges involving pop heads so i hope you enjoyed this video bye guys